Today we're going to be going over how to operate a JLG 400S telescopic boom lift. Before operating this machine, always be sure that in this weatherproof compartment here on the platform, you're going to have your three manuals, which are going to be your operation manual, your AEM manual, and your ANSI's responsibilities manual. Again, those are always located in the weatherproof compartment on the platform there. Now let's go ahead and talk about the three tests that we got to perform before you operate this machine. The first test that you're going to want to perform before operating this machine is going to be your pre-operation inspection. At that point, you're just basically going to walk around, do a visual inspection of the machine. You're going to be looking for anything like leaks, tire condition, loose or missing parts. In that operator's manual has a long list of things to look for if you're unsure. Second thing you're going to do is going to do a function test. At that point, you're going to do a function test from the ground controls and your platform controls. You're going to make sure all functions test out correctly and all the safety devices are working. Again, operator's manual in the platform has a long list of that for you. Last thing we're going to do is a workplace inspection. Basically, you're searching for any hazards in your workplace by any means. Again, operator's manual has every bit of it in there if you're unsure what to look for. Let's go ahead and go to the ground controls. Now that we're down here at the ground controls, to operate any of your functions from down below here, it's going to be your e-stop out, key switch all the way to the right. That's going to allow you to power up your ground controls here. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and turn the key switch to the neutral position and the e-stop in. Now to start this machine from down below, it's going to be this toggle switch here up. That's going to go ahead and start the machine for you. Also, opposite of start is going to be your function enable. So while the machine is running, you're going to hold down your function enable and operate in these functions as they're laid out here on this placard. So function unlock, extend, retract, boom up, boom down. You also have your main turret left and right. And up top here, we have basket rotate left and right with your basket level. Now, if for any reason the machine was to quit running on you, you can still get your buddy down by again, e-stop out, key switch all the way in the right position. Opposite of your start switch is gonna be your auxiliary pump. So at that point, you're just gonna hit and hold down your auxiliary pump and whatever function you need to get your buddy down safely. Now let's go ahead and switch the power to the upper controls here. That's all the way to the left. Again, e-stop out every time and let's go to the platform. Now that we're up here at the platform controls, as I explained to you earlier, I, at the ground controls, that key switch needs to be all the way to the left. That's going to allow power to be set up top here. Then you must have this e-stop popped out. That's going to power up your board. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and press it back in. This toggle switch right here is going to be your start switch. You're going to send it forward. You're never to be on this pedal to start the machine. But to operate any other function on this machine, you always need to be on the pedal here. Second safety device that we do have up here is the sky guard. That is while you're traveling. If you were to bump it, it's just going to cut off your travel instantly. So if your PC equipment is equipped with the sky guard, go ahead and test that out. Make sure that's working correctly also. As I showed from down below, you, <clears throat> you do have auxiliary pump up top here also so you can get yourself down. By doing that would be, again, e-stop out, foot on the pedal for the auxiliary pump. You're gonna have your foot on the pedal. So it's always pedal, pump, and then whatever function you need to get yourself down safely. So it'll allow you to do everything besides travel, besides drive. So you can swing the boom out of the way to come down into a safe spot every time. Now let's go ahead and start with these toggle switches all the way to the left here. These are going to be for your travel, so it's going to be three speed, high, mid, and low. You also have your basket level up here, level up, level down. Now this joystick here is equipped with a collar on it, so you're going to want to lift the collar. If you throw the stick forward, that's going to be lift up, bring it back towards you, that's going to be down, and then you also have your main turret left and right. Your horn's also located in this area. This rheostat here, all the way down is going to be turtle mode, all the way up is going to be your high, and that's only, going to, that's only going to control your boom speeds. You also have basket rotate left and right, and extend and retract. So bring it towards you to extend the boom out, 
push it away from you to, to retract it back in. Over here on this joystick, you're also gonna have a collar. It's gonna be your drive stick. So lift the collar on the joystick. This is gonna be your forward and reverse, and you're always gonna steer off the top rocker. Now this machine also does have this device on here. If you get out above about 90 degree angle, it's just gonna cut your travel. Do not worry because it just makes you think about it. In case you're 180 degrees out, you hit your stick forward and you run into something behind you. It just makes you think before you take off. So again, you can still travel by just hitting the foot pedal, holding your drive and orientation toggle switch there, and then that'll allow you to keep traveling. Now, since we went over all these platform controls, let's go ahead and take this machine outside. Now that we're out here and ready to operate this machine, always make sure you have your full body harness on and that you only tie off to the factory anchor points on this machine. You're gonna have one on the right and left on this JLG 400S. Now let's go ahead and run the operations on here. Today we went over how to operate a JLG 400S. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below.